100 Jams, where hit music lives. No, you're locked into Midday Chop Up right here with your girl, Erin Rain. Man, it's all about Chat Trap, talking about your hot topics in the media today. So we're definitely going to get into it because I'd say it just seems as though these days are getting juicier and juicier. So let's talk about the juice. All right, so 30 years later, Snoop Dogg now owns the record label Death Row that launched his career when he was just a teenager. And Snoop Dogg is also set to take the stage Sunday at the Super Bowl performing with other legendary performers. That's including Dr. Dre, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, and a whole lot more, okay? And he calls this opportunity a dream come true. But we all know when everything is going good, sometimes the bad do follow. So just recently, a woman filed a lawsuit against Snoop Dogg and another man alleging that they each sexually assaulted her nearly nine years ago. So the woman identified as Jane Doe alleged that the incident happened after she attended a Snoop Dogg concert in May of 2013, and she alleged that her and her friend agreed to go back to Snoop Dogg's studio with him and his friend Donald Campbell, and she later asked to be taken home after being offered a ride by Campbell, who she alleged drove her to his own residence instead, and after she had fell asleep in the car, the woman fell asleep at, yeah, she fell asleep at Campbell's home, sorry, but was woken up at about 4 a.m. to Donald Campbell, forcing her to perform oral sex on him and she also alleged that Snoop Dogg followed her to the bathroom where he also forced her to perform oral sex on him and he even actually masturbated in front of her. Boy, oh boy, I do not know what to say in a predicament like this. It's like, it happened in 2013, it can be very true, but of course, you know, court, um, the court will definitely and speak on that. So I'll keep you up to date with this information that is going on. But it seems as though a lot of these black male artists are being charged with sexual assault these days. So, hey, uh, it can go either way. Moving on to further news, what's happening in the life of Miss Wendy Williams. And a lot of persons who have been looking forward to Wendy actually, you know, start um, joining back on her show but it does not look like it's going to happen because she has serious health issues and her bank just recently actually they asked, they're saying that she is unable to handle her financial affairs at this present time they're asking for someone else to go ahead and do so for her so ugh Health is a serious thing these days, people. So I'd say check up on the people around you, whether it's mental, physical, whatever it is. Please encourage the people around you, you know, the best of their ability. Because you just never know what is going on in someone's life and what they are hiding. So, hey, pick up a phone, text a friend, call a friend today, especially mentally, because we all know what's going on with COVID-19. So it seems as though Roddy Rich has found himself back on Instagram. And I don't know why he thought... He should have deactivated his account because everyone who's deactivated their Instagram account always end up back on social media. These days, we're addicted and who can, who who could blame us? I'm just saying everything's on social media, all right? So he's back on. He posted a story just recently basically stating he is going to be in L.A. for the weekend. Of course, you know, the Super Bowl is happening and this is the most expensive Super Bowl if you you did not know for the year. So I'm really looking to that. Um, Of course, you know, really looking to the halftime show, really looking to see all the performance we're looking to see all, of course, the the really hip-hop artists perform. It's something new, and thanks to Jay-Z also for that. But moving on, it's all about Aquarius season. It's still here, celebrating some of your favorite Aquarius, actually. Brandy is celebrating her birthday today, along with Kelly Rowland, along with Khaled, and along with Miss Young Miami from the City Girls. So, of course, we're going to throw it back right now to Miss Brandy celebrating. But that is it for Chat Trap. Briefly letting you know what is happening in the media today. Throwing it back long distance.